Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to use focus mode to customize and make your setting in a way that really it takes advantage of the new iOS feature. In this feature, we're gonna talk about what focus mode means and how you can also create custom ones specific to your need. So if you guys don't know what focus mode, well, with iOS 15 that was recently released on the iPhone 13 lineup and you can pretty much update your iPhone 6 and above to iOS 15 here you'll notice that there's a new feature known as focus mode so if you go into your notification by simply pulling it down or pulling it up if you have an older phone you'll simply see this new mode known as focus so if you click on that by default there's a couple of them that are added so what focus mode allows you to do is basically filter your notification your signals and it allows you to signal your friend whenever you're on this focus mode so that they do not disturb you and hide those distractions from your focus of settings here. By default, in the past, it used to just be do not disturb where it would silence all the notification. Well, now with iOS 15, you have the ability to put it in personal work or sleep mode. So those are the options that you have. And how do you simply turn it on? So if I wanted to do personal, I could simply click on that and then hit next here and then it will ask you what sort of uh, allowing that you would allow people to first of all of course hear contact and then calls from so here you can simply add your contact that you want allowed during your personal mode so let's say we just want this contact we can hit done here yeah, or you can simply choose allow none as well so no one can do it and then now for the settings of call you can select your favorite if you create a favorite list you select none all contact and then this allow repeated call which allows someone to call you within the three minutes that it will be it will not be silenced for them so that's going to be allowed one so simply you can customize it and then if you hit allow it's going to ask you now the apps that you want to be able to allow during this setting so you can simply select the apps that you want notification from and then it will allow you to get notifications from those apps so if i say like say facetime here and then this other option which time sensitive what allows you to do if there's a notification that are marked time sensitive so notification for delivery things like that will pop up if you allow that so you want to just leave it on by default or you can simply turn it off again you have the option to allow these or simply do none so no out of no notification will happen but when you do allow when you select allow none time sensitive can still be there so if you're getting important uh, time sensitive notification that will still come through and then you can hit allow and then the focus here as you can see your focus is ready now and this focus mode as you'll know this it can be actually shared across your device here so here as you can see here we have created that and then we can also do a couple other things here things like actually allow some sort of schedule automation so if you want to schedule a specific time from this time to that time or if you wanted to do a location when you're at work or something it can do that or when you open so certain apps like the books app you can do all of that with it as well and simply if you didn't want this or you want to remove this you can just delete it as well and that's going to be how you set up focus mode so simply to set up a focus mode you can just simply play around with it and to turn one on you simply select it and it's going to be on and then if you lock your screen here you'll notice that focus mode is on now we can turn it off by simply pressing this and then click it again and now focus mode is gone so you want to do that and then you can also just simply go into settings to also play with this. So if you're going into settings, it's going to be straightforward as well here. You're going to notice when you go into settings, it's going to be right here. This is option will show up in the settings here. And you can see here, we by default, your personal sleep and work. And you can also allow more. And to share across your device, so if you're signed in with the same Apple ID on across other devices like your iPad, your MacBook, you can simply turn this on and it will take those settings across it but as you can see here you'll need to allow it focus mode to sync you'll need to 
activate the two-factor authentication, which you don't have not set up here. But two-factor authentication is that if you're signed on to a device, it's going to ask another device to confirm that you're signing on there. And by default, you see these that they allow. These are all customizable. Again, you can add your own one here. There's more you can see by the ones that Apple has already selected. You have driving, fitness, if you're driving, or if you're going to the gym, you can probably activate this one and customize that if you're playing games so you don't want to be bothered. Mindfulness, if you just want some peace and quiet and just to focus. Or if you're doing reading, which if you're reading a book or something, you don't want a disturbance, you can activate that. And if you did custom one, again, you can name your specific one, choose a color here. Maybe you can, if you did one to uh, maybe a library or somewhere like that, you can just simply put library and then set up that notification like we would here. Again, it's all customizable here. You can play around with it. Pick your, pick and choose what you want. Again, same method here, allowing people and then hit allow the apps you want. You can select none or whatever it is and then hit done. And now if we go into focus mode, now we have library as well. And then we can turn it on and off by simply clicking on that button. So if you haven't played around with focus mode, it's a really neat feature. We use it a lot on some of our devices and it makes sense a lot of times if you're driving, maybe if you're going to a specific place, you want your focus on that specific thing, you can create this automation, turn your phone on. As you know, there's so much distraction nowadays that something like this definitely helps. So hopefully this video is helpful for you guys to understand what focus mode is and how to use it. If this video is helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.